Ladies and gentlemen, now it's 5am here in Basingstoke, England, and we're up early to break down the global patch notes for the ReZero collaboration. So this is going to be arriving tomorrow about 6am English time, 10pm uh, PDT. So again, a very early patch in comparison to the usual time. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to the summons tomorrow, but the big question is, should you be summoning on this banner? Now, if you're free to play, it's really nice to pick up one copy of Rem, at least in my opinion because she's a very strong red damage character, has like tons of output via her Amplify card, and in certain scenarios in the future where you can just like stack up the buffs, again, her damage could be absolutely ridiculous. And we see like a few cheese scenarios kind of in the past where you can like build up the Liz Hawk buffs, and again, if you can stack up buffs, dude, she's, in my opinion, the number one Amplify damage character. So that makes her very interesting. But unless you're spending money on this collaboration, you're probably not going to get that top tier consistent performance out of Rem. Uh, so yeah, just something to keep in mind as well. Again, all of the collaboration characters, ideally, if you do want to use them in PvP, you are going to need to be wailing a little bit, you know, buying the cosmetics and ideally getting a few alt levels. And when it comes to Amelia, Amelia is a character that has Ghost's Pumpkin Bombs card. She also has, um, a very powerful freeze card as well, and her ultimate is the same as Lost Fame Meliodas. However, Amelia's base stats are a little bit lower in comparison, and the crit chance is nowhere near as high, uh, so she's much more reliant uh, on the 6-6 six, six alt level in order to just have that consistent win condition. So yeah, Amelia is a good character if you're big whaling, uh, but if you are free to play and you have a 1-6 Amelia, no cosmetics, you're going to find in PvP that very often she's a little bit unreliable and a little bit disappointing so just keep that in mind as well again even a 1-6 may have future uses in pve because again the freeze card is so incredibly valuable um, but yeah it's kind of like a different version of like red jericho's freeze card so it's not like merlin's or gustav's where it multiplies the damage but instead it takes off a percentage of the opponent's health so yeah in the right scenario again can be a very good time there but amelia at least in my opinion is a little bit more big whaling in comparison to the others uh but should you do a rotation on this banner it's kind of up to you and whether or not you um uh, enjoy the characters or not. Again, one really cool thing about this banner um, is that when you go to 600 gems on it, you're going to get 100 gems refunded. Plus, there's also like, uh, what is it, 10 free uh, tickets as well. So you've got 10 free summons there, 30 gems. So it kind of makes the rotation cost, uh, as long as you have the 600 gems, um, it kind of takes it down to 470 for a full rotation. And hopefully in that rotation, you can pull Rem or Amelia kind of like guaranteed select the other one and the final character uh is rom who you get for free her name is ram in game uh but in the anime they they pronounce it rom so i'm, I'm gonna start calling her rom as a force of good habit there um so yeah rom is a free character that you get via the the login really really good character because she is uh usable on the support so the back line um and she actually increases the stats of all unknown characters their base stats so their attack their health their defense by 20%. So yeah, a very good support character for like Rem, Amelia, also Festival Merlin as well, Gotha. So a lot of great synergy there. And then finally, we've got Beatrice. And Beatrice has her uses in PvE. And one area of the game that I think she excels at the most is really like top tier Knighthood Wars because she's a very strong healer for unknown teams. But if you're playing like live PvP versus another player, then the problem you have is that in the current meta, there's so much damage that healing is pretty much irrelevant. You're either trying to prevent one shots or like one shot the opponent for the most part. So yeah, that's pretty much the current state of PvP. So Beatrice, you know, isn't super effective in PvP. Uh, but for PvE and certain like top tier guild ball stuff, again, can be a very interesting champion. And I hope to do some like good global content on Beatrice as well. Uh, but again, out of all the characters, man, she's probably like the least exciting. Uh, but I think Rem is like a really cool 
cool character. Media is really cool if you big Whalen as well. Uh, Rom is just like fantastic for the back line and also just has some annoying cards as well because she's got Goddess Lesser's stun. Uh, but yeah, personally, like I like all four of the collab characters. Um, but in my opinion, if you really did want to save up for like, you know, the next like big thing like Festival Westerosa or like uh, the festival version of Arthur that's coming out, um, I don't think there's going to be absolutely anything essential in the future that you will need any of these characters for unless you're playing like top tier guild wars in which case there are some really um uh, interesting setups for like re-zero characters as well um, but again you could skip this banner if you really don't like the characters um, and again it probably wouldn't have the biggest detrimental impact in the longer term like there's been nothing um, that any of these characters have been absolutely essential for um, after the release of them for standard free-to-play players but again like if you big whale and like they're nice to pick up man they're really nice to pick up um, but anyway what additional events do we have for this we got the check-in event we got some special missions uh there is a re-zero world quest there we felt like the white whale that one's pretty damn cool there's also the uh the beetle juice death match i can't say his name so i'm just gonna call him beetle juice there uh he's really cool man and also an exchange shop as well uh, on top of that there is a special bingo event there's gonna be king's exchange uh i think you can change like um I think it's like R pendants for, uh, I think it's cosmetic enhancement materials on this one, I believe. Um, so yeah, that was a pretty cool addition during the ReZero collaboration on JP and KR. And then we've also got boosting events. So uh, you got Hero Enhanced Super Ultra Success Rate Increase. Equipment Salvage is up as well. And there is Main and Free Stage Stamina Decrease as well. So yeah, having this chained on after a half stand week uh, is really good if that's applying for the whole week as well. Um, and there's also also going to be a title for the event the release of final boss jericho and gila as well this is a bit of a lazy final boss it really doesn't have um uh, too much design to it and if you're looking for a very easy time again like Sariel, Lost Vein, uh there are all sorts of like red characters I think as well uh, I don't think like uh what was it Rem was actually um available during the run of like final boss Gila and Jericho at least to the best of my memory I may be incorrect on that one but yeah she should be nuts for that final boss as well but overall like it's a very very easy final boss to deal with uh Jericho and Gila and Grimoire uh Hauser and Guild Thunder were literally made in 10 minutes man they're very simple final bosses and then we got Tower of Trials season 5 so I forgot exactly which one this is uh, I think this is the one before the Fairy King ones so I remember it kind of being like a little bit of a rerun that was quite easy. Uh, but yeah, there's like no tease as to what the... Um uh, the bosses and floors were but i don't remember this one being like that hard in comparison to previous seasons uh but i may be incorrect there but again the fact that tower is coming back is an absolute godsend for the gems man because it's like 55 additional gems here plus all the super awakening coins the gold the cosmetic enhancement materials the anvils the hammers so yeah i'm really looking forward to doing another tower on global man because it just feels like ages since we've had like a proper tower uh, and yeah, like, uh, the, the old towers are so much better than the new one, at least in my opinion. So I'm glad we've got uh, towers coming back there as well. Uh, again, the costumes for ReZero are going to be purchasable via cash as well. There's going to be collab bundles, ticket bundles, diamond bundles, guaranteed SSR bundles, cosmetic enhancement bundles. So yeah, loads of stuff for the whales to soak up. Again, these collabs, they absolutely... um. Uh, milk it man make all of the money um and then what else do we have as well also going to be a new season of endgame guild wars there uh hopefully sooner rather than later in the next couple of months they're going to start to roll out guild wars to the masses they talked about that on the jp patch notes i think about like three four months ago now um so yeah hopefully that's going to be coming uh fairly soon on the japanese version and then very soon on global as well uh but this one actually does increase the leagues a little bit uh, so there's like an additional I think eight knighthoods that can participate now and also the rewards go up even further so uh, for winning and becoming number one I think it goes up from like 70 gems to 90 gems so yeah that's very <laughs> very good for us in Zenith man because we we are we killing it in knighthood wars dude we just absolutely dominated the last season it was uh, brilliant uh, so yeah if you want to watch some uh, top tier knighthood wars gameplay again we've got a um 
a bit of it on the channel. Really good uh, match versus Night Sins as well. Uh, and also all the lifesteal cards are getting buffed because Beatrice, uh, she has a lifesteal cards uh, and they're very, very good for her. Um, so yeah, these lifesteal cards actually get a really, really big increase in terms of their base lifesteal. So it affects like Melascula, Hendrickson. Uh, nice little buff for Melascula if you do use her on the AMLE team there. Uh, so yeah, not too bad. But again, it's not like the biggest change in the world for a lot of these characters. Uh, but it's a, a nice little uh, additional thing there. Uh, we've got UR gear for all the ReZero characters. A uh, draw pool addition of Denzel into the Part 2 SSR. Um, and also, I think, the the Human and Giant tickets there. And also the Human tickets there. Uh, again, not too bad. Again, for progressing players that did miss out on... Um, uh, Denzel during his initial debut uh, again this is nice to pick up because he's like still really really cheesy for a lot of scenarios and ending events again the 30 million download celebration stuff or the stranger things stuff like there is so much that's going to be going but uh, with tomorrow's update as well so you know if you haven't got up to date on all of the Stranger Things stuff and kind of done your final summons on Lolly Merlin. Again, make sure to do that before the patch tomorrow because it is going to be arriving a little bit earlier. Uh, but yeah, overall, it should be a good day tomorrow, man. Again, we got like summons to do. We got tower. We got new final boss. We got global PvP showcases. So yeah, I'm very excited after a completely dead week on global to actually get back in and start making content again, man. Uh, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy today's uh, final a.m. patch notes breakdown please do smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciated uh, but aside from that thank you all very much for watching take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day you are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending who decided that subscribe now or enjoy the bitter taste of regret